For 1.1.3, I feel that it was a bit unnecessary for them to give you that little hint over there. Um, but nonetheless, they did. So what I want you to identify is whenever you get situations like this, for example, I'm just going to make up a few examples. It looks like a trinomial, right? Now, I'll, I'll show you how to see if it is a trinomial. Let's quickly try another one. Um, let's say we have 4 minus 3x2 minus 4 equals to 0. So did you know that a trinomial is a trinomial whenever this number is double this number? So 2 thirds is double 1 thirds, so that's a trinomial. 4 is double 2, so that's a trinomial. And then the trinomials that we've always done since like grade 9, I'll prove to you that that's also a trinomial because this is a 2 and this is a 1. So whenever it's double, then it's a trinomial. So what we do here is we bring the um, 6 over to the other side. So what I want to quickly do is show you a little trick. You should always take the smallest one, which is the 1 over 3, and we're going to rewrite this one using that. So we're going to say that this is x to the third squared. Because those two, if you multiplied them, you're still going to get 2 over 3. And then we can say minus x to the third minus 6 equals to 0. Then we can use their little suggestion, which is to let x a third equal to k. So let x a third equal to k. And so then we get k squared minus k minus 6. And now that is an easy trinomial, which will just be k minus 3 and k plus 2. And so therefore, k would be equal to 3 or k would be equal to negative 2. But now that's not the answer. That's the answer for k, but we want the answer for x. So then what we do is we come back to this, and so we need to use each of these now. So what we can do is we can say if k equals to 3, then what we can say is that we can replace the k with x to the third. So we can say x to the third equals to 3. And then for the other one, it's going to say if k equals to minus 2, then we can say x to the third equals to negative 2. And now to get to solve these types of equations, you take the reciprocal on both sides. And what we'll find is that x is equal to, um, because this, this just becomes a 1. So that's nice. That cancels out. And then 3 to the power of 3 is 27. And then here for this one, we also just take the reciprocal of a third, which is 3. Why do I do that? Because 1 over 3 multiplied by 3 over 1 just cancels out, and so you just get 1. That's why we do it. See, it's 3 over 1 and 3 over 1. And so what we end up with now is x equals 2, and then if you go type this in the calculator, you're going to get negative 8.